Selena, thank you. We do have team coverage on this tonight. We go now to Ashley Edlin, who's live in Riga, where police say that attempted murder took place. Ashley, you spoke with neighbors in the area today. What did they have to say about all this? Well, Adam, neighbors tell us that Florence lives in this home behind me alone. They say she lived here with her husband until he passed away just a few years ago. They say Ford takes good care of this home, mostly by herself, and is very active in the community. They also called her a very nice person and a good neighbor. That neighbor is also telling us he knew her son as Andy and says he would see him around every once in a while, helping out his mother and helping out with the yard, but says other than that, he knows very little about him. The neighbor tells us this incident is shocking and again says Florence is just a nice person. She's a tough lady. She's, um, like I said, she's in, you know, she's elderly and she gets out there and cuts an acre and a half of grass. Nobody expects this to happen in their neighborhood. Now, this investigation is far from over, but as you can see here, uh, deputies have taken down the police tape that was here uh, for most of the afternoon, and they have cleared out. So as we continue to learn more about this, we're going to update you. Adam, Maureen. All right, Ashley, thank you. So here's the bottom line here. Sheriff's deputies say a woman was found dead inside a home on Collingsworth Drive in Penfield today. Her name is not being released right now. They say her death is connected to the attempted homicide of 75-year-old Florence Ford on Leeback Road in the town of Riga. 52-year-old Arnold Ford Jr. of Penfield is the man police say is responsible for these incidents. They say he died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound in Erie, Pennsylvania. We will continue to monitor this story for any updates.